Hello everybody, welcome back to a new video. I'm in bed, you're sitting very weirdly. I'm going to try and show you, like I'm going to take a picture and I'm going to show you what's happening right now. It's... Uh, it's something. Can you see this? Yeah you can, that's what's happening. It's 11.50pm. My friend Clara's readathon is starting in 10 minutes. It's the Halloween at Notre Dame readathon. So yeah, it's starting in 10 minutes for me and I'm not happy with myself. I was supposed to have finished 9th house today. I have 10 minutes left in the day and I have 120 pages left of this book. You see my problem here? It's not going to happen. <laughs> oh, it's fine, it's fine. So what I'm going to do I'm going to read this book, like right now, and hopefully I'll finish it before going to bed. We'll see, but hopefully it can happen, I don't know, I don't know. But yeah, that's my goal, and if I don't finish it before going to bed, I will finish it at some point tomorrow. And I will show you my TBR tomorrow. I have a good TBR, honestly. I'm excited, I'm excited. I'm definitely hoping I can get to all the books they're not that big one of them is a middle grade book but two are classics so hopefully i can get to all of them but yeah right now look at this book oh my gosh it's the special waterstones edition with the black pages and it rained my book sleeve wasn't wet at all so it's a mystery but it's fine so yeah going to read that and then I'm going to sleep.
Well, hello everybody. Oh, you can see how messy my chair is. I will clean it out today. <laughs> it's 9.25. I woke up at 8.30, but I just stayed in bed a little bit. I'm orange. I'm all Halloween-y. Happy Halloween, everybody. Um, wait, the book. <laughs> Okay, so before going to bed at 1.40, I mean, technically I stay on Instagram until 2.40. Before going to bed, I always look at all the pictures that I haven't posted during the day. I comment, I save, I reshare, so it always takes a little bit of time, but it's fine. So I stopped reading at 1.40 and I have 46 pages left. What roller coaster? So many things happened in these 60 pages and mind blown. Mind blown. I'm going to make myself a coffee and finish that because I need to know how it ends. It's truly incredible. Lee Bardugo is amazing. Let's just say that. But for the other books on my TBR, I have A Study in Scarlet. It's a reread for me. I've read A Study in Scarlet. Sorry, I had something under my glass. So yeah, I've read A Study in Scarlet several times, so it should be a quick read. I'm excited. And wait. I have A Secret of Birds and Burn. It's a middle grade book. It's written quite big. So I'm hoping to get through this one quite quickly. I'm very excited. This book just screams autumn to me. And yeah, I got it at the Golden Hair Books. It's a little independent bookstore in Edinburgh. It's very cute. And the other book on my physical TBR is The Haunting of Hill House. I've never read this book. I've not watched the TV show yet and I want to read it before I watch the TV show so I'm on page 18 this is ridiculous but it's fine so I have this and then I have what's your name again <laughs> I don't have it physically that's why I never remember the name mating the huntress it's a romance, a paranormal romance. I think I'm going to read that um, maybe near the end because it's a novella, so it should be read quite quickly. I will see, but yeah, I'm excited. But yeah, coffee and we're going to finish Ninth House. I'm excited. My coffee is like just heating it up a bit because I added milk. But I have this shot of orange turmeric and cayenne. And if you don't know, turmeric is very good if you have inflammation. And uh, as I've told you many, many times, my fingers hurt me a lot and it's a sort of inflammation. At least that's what my doctor said. So usually when I'm at home, my mom makes me this drink with turmeric, but I don't have it here, so I have a little shot of orange turmeric and cayenne. So let's drink that and maybe die a bit. That oh, smells good. Okay, let's drink this in one one go. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, coffee. Wow. 
Like, the first thing you can taste is the orange, and you're like, oh, that's good. And then your throat starts burning. Wow, that was, um, if you need to wake up, <laughs> that works. <laughs> I just finished my house. It's 10.47. This was amazing. The last 100 pages are completely wild. Like, you have a very dark good in your book for most of the book, and then the last 100 pages, it's just a roller coaster. Like, you think you know what's going on but you don't until the very end and the last page I need book two I need book two I know it's coming out in June 2021 so we have some time to wait but oh gosh this was good five stars five stars hands down so it means I've read 113 pages so far it's not much as I told you I'm a slow reader. It's fine, okay? So, what should I read next? Should I read The Haunting of Hill House? Or should I read A Study in Sky? A Study in Sky isn't my priority because it's not like on my physical TBR because I've already read it. So I would like to read some books that are on my TBR first. So, which one? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, you know what? I'm going to put this on my story and ask people to choose. And while they do this, I'm going to wash the dishes. Yeah. Sounds like a plan. It's 11.25. I always take so long to do the dishes, I don't know why. I mean, the problem is I listen to music and I tend to dance, so I do that as it's so, so. Yeah, always take me a little bit of time, but it's fine. Let's see what people said. I'm going to put the results here. <laughs> I'm so not surprised. We're going with the hunting of Hill House. I'm 18 pages in, so... I still have quite a bit left. <laughs> Obviously. 
less than 250 pages so we're going to do that and also there are some challenges for this readathon so i'm just going to tell them quickly the first challenge is drink a warm beverage so i had my coffee but i just made some earl grey second challenge is bake something we'll see third challenge is show off your favorite scary book try to guess which book i'm going to say you ready okay yeah mexican gothic <laughs> I read it in the beginning of October with my book club, the Dragons Into Book Club, and fell absolutely in love. It's a five stars for me, one of my favorite books of the year, probably one of my all-time favorite books as well. It was simply brilliant. I loved it. So smart, so scary, so spooky. So truly recommend it if you're looking for a book to read. I think it would be nice to read in November because this book has a very chilly atmosphere. So still quite perfect for november so if you want to read it i recommend it okay so the fourth challenge is watch a scary movie or episode so i want to watch Ocus pocus today because i love this movie so much it's not that scary but it's very nice so i'm going to watch that and the last challenge is to dance on your favorite song you saw me dance but that wasn't my favorite song do i have a favorite song i don't know i will put on my favorite halloween song and i will dance on it yeah, but now I'm going to read The Haunting of Hill House. Yeah. Edinburgh is wild, like, it was raining, like, a friggin' storm was here two minutes ago, and now it's sunny. It's wild. I love it. <laughs> okay, I'm not that far into the haunting of Hill House because I took a little break to take some pictures and talk to my friends. So, yeah, I'm on page 39. I'm going back to it. But that's wild. That's so wild. Like the clip of the rain and the clip of the blue sky. That's the wind. We filmed five, five minutes apart. Wild, just wild. I love it. Hello. I'm going to go and see if I can maybe sit at Custa because there is one like two minutes away so i want to be able to enjoy the pretty weather a bit and have a warm drink something like that yeah i don't know if my shoes go with the way i'm dressed but i have blisters and i don't feel like wearing anything else to be honest so that's my outfit can you yeah Maybe if I tuck this in a bit, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just going to put on a coat and go.
Hi. I just got home. It's 2 p.m. I think. I stayed 50 minutes because I could have stayed longer, but there was an old guy who had been waiting for 50 minutes to have a seat. And I'm the one who got the last seat available at Costa, so he'd been waiting for 50 minutes and he had a cane, so I was like, have my seat, sir. So I just finished my drink very quickly and left. But I read quite a few pages of The Hunting of Hill House, so I'm very happy. It was a very nice time. I'm on page 79, so I'm making some good progress. I had a chai latte and a caramel hazelnut cake. It was really good, I really liked it. So yeah, I'm home and I'm just going to put on my sweatpants and yeah, maybe drink some water and read a bit. Uh, I haven't had anything today except for the cake, so maybe at some point I will some soup. I don't know. Um, I was quite sick like two days ago. Like I was very nauseous, so I haven't been eating much these past two days. Even though I feel a lot better, but I still trying not to eat too much at the moment. I'm taking my shoes off. <laughs> So yeah, so far I'm having a really good day. It's very lovely just to read and have a warm cup of tea, a chai, coffee. It's just very nice. It's very nice. And the weather is really pretty. So that makes me happy. Also, I feel like I was dressed as a pumpkin and I like it. Time to go back to reading. It's very funny. Like I hadn't expected this book to be funny, but it is. Like I've giggled quite a few times, so it's really nice to read. At first I really wanted to read until page 100 before leaving Costa, but it's fine. It's completely fine. So, it's 5.27 and I have 70 something pages left of The Haunting of Hill House. So I'm going to draw myself a bath. Because I have a bath bomb called, wait, it's called Lord of Misrule. 
it looks like this my friend grace she works at lush and she told me that it looks like you're taking a bath in blood or in red wine so i'm excited <laughs> i'm excited so i'm going to do that and have a nice time and when i finish the hunting of her house i will have enough time to read a secret of birds and bird because as i told you it's a middle grade book it's written quite big maybe i will take a little break you know to cook something to eat which will be my baking challenge <laughs> and while i cook and eat i will watch Ocus pocus yeah let's do that So it's, it's 7.15, I just got out of the bath, I finished the hunting of a hill house. Thank you. My building's haunted. That's fine. That's just the wind. Okay, so I gave it four stars because it's really interesting, I didn't see the ending coming. But that was a bit, how do you say that, redundant. So yeah, it was nice. And now I can finally watch the Netflix series. I'm glad I read it. Full stars. It was 246 pages long. So, so far I've read 341 pages. And yeah, hopefully I will be able to read A Secret of Birds and Bird. And also watch a bit of August Pocus so I'm going to cook now and I'm going to do that while watching August Pocus and then I'm going to eat and then I will start
Okay, so I read the first chapter of Secret of Birds and Bone. I want to say a song of birds and bone every single time. No, a secret of birds and bone. We're following a character named Sophia. She's 12 years old and her mom is a bone carver. Like, Sophia's entire house is made out of bones. Isn't it perfect for Halloween? So yeah, that's the basic premise and it takes place in Italy and I think there was a plague. Yeah, there was the smallpox. It's 8.32. This book has 350 pages, I think. Oh, no. 314 pages. Okay, cool. So... I'm going to read that. I'm on page 8 at the moment. <laughs> it's fine. It's very beautiful. Like, that's how the chapter ended. I really like it. And that's how the chapter begins. So, yeah, I'm going to read and hopefully I will like it. So, it's 9 10. I'm 61 pages in. It really reads quickly. I'm liking it so far. So yeah, I'm going to make myself some tea because it's a bit cold, I have to admit. And maybe I will eat a Reese's peanut butter cup because I, <laughs> I really like it. So yeah, I'm going to do that. But yeah, it's nice so far. It's really nice. I'm getting tired. Also, I would have kind of liked playing a bit of Animal Crossing because I think there is something happening following. So maybe make myself my cup of tea, play like for 15 minutes and go back to reading. I'm a hundred and thirty-five pages in. Yeah, and it's ten twenty-eight. You can't see it. It's fine. So I'm going to go in bed and finish the book. It's really soft so far. Like I love middle grade. I think people underestimate middle grade, but middle grade is great. So I'm going to read, and you have a nice time, and I won't have to go. We can do it. <laughs> hey, it's 
obviously November 1st <laughs> Halloween is over and I'm here to talk about the books I read during this 24-hour readathon so I had 113 pages left of Ninth House absolutely thought this book oh. five stars I'm excited for the second book amazing we started with the wind we will end with the wind amazing then I read that's another I said <laughs> it's upside down it's upside down every single time I'm showing it to you. It's fine. I read The Haunting of Hill House. I read like the first 18 pages so I read the book in its entirety. It's 246 pages. I gave it four stars. It was interesting. The more I think of it, the more I think it was smart and creepy. Like the more I think about the ending. creepy as fuck so I think it's a, the kind of books you enjoy the more you think of it so yeah four stars really liked it and then I read A Secret of Birds and Bone so as I told you yesterday this book definitely has to do with bones because Sophia's mom is a bone carver but there's also a bit of magic in it I think it takes place in 15th 16th 17th centuries roughly so yeah it was very lovely like it's mostly about love and family and friendship everything you love about middle grade and it was very lovely so technically <laughs> I finished the readathon 30 minutes after midnight because I had 50 pages left of this book but I still counted like in the 24 readathon I had a lovely time I was like nearly done with the book and my dad called me on FaceTime <laughs> like we stayed on FaceTime for 15 minutes so yeah but it was fun it was a lot of fun I think I'm going to look more into the author's other books because I had heard of wait where is it I had heard of the deathless girls and the mercy so might pick them up in the future but yeah I think I'm going to be in this one four stars as well yeah four stars it was nice i liked it so it means that during this 24 hour readathon i read 655 pages and completed three books who am i i'm so happy about it i did all the challenges which is fun like i had a very lovely time i i just had a really great day so i think it was successful Anyway, if you participated in the readathon, please tell me in the comments what you read. And if you didn't, just tell me what you did following. I would love to know. But yeah, that's going to be the end of this video. So if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. That would make me very happy. And if you're not subscribed yet, maybe you can. Of course, only if you want. And if you want to be notified for whenever I post a new video, click on the little bell. But I hope you will have an amazing rest of your day. Please remember that you're loved. And I will see you in another video. Bye.